Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing a review on the Star Wars Mission Fleet Razor Crest. Now, a big thanks to my buddy Lockie for giving this to me for my birthday last week. I was so stoked on it. I was just, I, he got one himself a couple of weeks before. And uh, yeah, I was pretty, actually pretty stoked with how this thing turned out. Um, you know, despite it being, you know, four and up, you know, this thing's pretty cool. And this may just tide over the hunger until, um, the Haslab Razor Crest arrives in March next year, hopefully that soon. So yeah, packaging, it's got, uh, you know, all the bits and pieces that come with it. So you've got all these guns, which is cool. You got Mandalorian, his jetpack, cape, Grogu, uh, four missiles, an extra sort of, uh, an extra cannon that's purchased on top. You know, a lot of these vehicles have extra like little stud holes where you can put all the extra little weapons just to get a little bit more play, play, view, play value for the uh, for the little ones. So here on the side you've got the Mandalorian ship, and you've got Gideon and his TIE Fighter, and uh, Kenobi and his Starfighter. And there's a bunch more out there, but uh, again just some of the play features. You've got the canopy opening at the top, two doors on the side, and then the firing mechanisms for the missiles each. Um, so what I've actually done since I got it is I've actually taken it outside and uh, weathered it up a little bit. I just thought, why not? You know, this looks like a fun little project to do. Um, you yeah, know, it does look very plasticky, which for the price point and purpose of the toy, not a big deal at all. You know, if, if the Haslab came out looking like this, I'd be sorely disappointed. But um, I was actually pretty impressed. So here we go. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And uh, we'll zoom in. <clears throat> so basically what I did is just covered it in a black wash. Um, and it got a lot of dirt into, or black paint, as it were, into all the sort of cracks and crevices, sort of pulling up in all the little machinery parts and all those different pieces. And if I actually release the top, you can sort of see the cleanliness of what it looked like on the inside there because I didn't weather the inside of it, I didn't think I need to in comparison to the outside so you kind of get a good idea of how, how grubby this thing looks now um, and yeah gave it a nice, I didn't go overboard with it, I could have gone you know done a lot more dry brushing and weathering and stuff and yeah I didn't want to go too overboard so I gave it, set it out for a couple of days, let it dry and then this morning put a nice matte coat on it of clear and left that just sort of sitting out in the, uh, not directly in the sun, but out in the warmth of the day, just to dry that off. And I think it came out pretty nice, giving that nice matte look, while still keeping all the original sort of paint deco, the uh, yellow and stuff on the side. So one thing, obviously, the matte coat did. Um, fog up the canopy there, but that's not a big deal. I don't really care about that. It's mainly just going to be a backdrop for my little mission fleet collection. So let's take a look inside here. So here we have the Mandalorian. Now, I have reviewed this figure before. I did the, uh, the five pack that came out a few months ago. It was probably six to 12 months ago now. Um, it was a while ago. So yeah, he comes with his cape. Pretty good. Grogu holding his ball. We've had this one before as well. It's uh, Mando's jetpack, which is swappable for the cape. And we get this little basket. It sits inside Grogu's little blanket in there. It's all sculpted one piece, but it lot does sort of just sort of sit in a nice groove on the. Uh, co-pilot chair there, not co-pilot, but passenger seat. So it does just sort of sit in there, stays stays nice and snug, so that's kind of cool. So the inside is got some cool details in it, actually. You can sort of see a little bit of that black paint to sort of run inside and rest on the seat there. Not not too fussed about that. But yeah, the control panels, all the details inside look nice. The red plastic they've used for the seats looks good, nice and vibrant. Some really cool details in the cockpit here. So 
So again, looking pretty cool. You can sort of see all the machinery and stuff on the front there. Some just bits of fibers and stuff from the cloth I used to weather it up. But yeah, having a little uh, a sort of black wash sort of leak into all the all the cracks there and stuff really sort of shows up nicely. So on the other side, I was going to go overboard and fill in all the screw holes, but I decided not. Nah, really can't be bothered. This isn't going to be. I didn't want to put too much time and effort into this, but um, let's take a look at the inside here. So we have the uh, gun rack where all the uh, blasters are placed. Some cool decals and stuff inside of all his gear. Notable, noticeably absent is his vac tube. I guess they really didn't need to put his toilet into a toy. Um, unless it's sculpted in there somewhere. I doubt it though. So again, the back door com comes down, the landing ramp. Let's zoom in there and have a look. Nah, no, there's nothing. I didn't even consider looking in there. So yeah, nice sort of open... Sort of nice open features. A lot of playability to display your characters in. Which is probably what I'm going to do, to be honest. Just all my... Um, because I've been collecting the Mandalorian one. Still haven't got the Blurg or Quill. Uh, that one doesn't seem to have come out down in Australia at all, so... We'll see what's going on there. I'm not too fast, to be honest, though. Um, this thing's pretty cool. I would like, as much as I'd like to get Quill for it, it's not a big deal if I don't. It'd be cool to have Quill and the Blurg sitting alongside this thing. there which is cool so yeah you got the little flick missile on the side there so you can just pop them in and flick them with the yellow buttons on top there uh, where's the extra gun so yeah I've left this off this is just one of the extra accessories you get you can chuck it on the either of the wings or on the middle but I've just shot a missile so yeah I'm not not too fussed about the big Sort of play features. I just want to use this as a little display. So it's it's came come out quite cool. I, I actually really like it. It already was a little bit of that sort of black weathering there on the engine. But yeah, just adding adding that sort of wash over it really really made it pop a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with this toy. Really really happy with it actually. And uh, it's not badly priced at all. Really well priced. Even down here in Australia, where things are notoriously expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not too bad. So big thanks to Lockie for grabbing this for me for, for my birthday. I uh, can't thank you enough, man. This is, this is killer. I love this thing. It's so rewarding putting those little weapons in to all their slots. It's really, really cool. I dig it so much. <laughs> it's awesome. So yeah, definitely if you're looking for a little bit of fun in your Star Wars collecting. No, it's not for everyone, but uh, I've, I've, had, I've had fun with it already. So I've only had it for a week, less than a week. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. This sort of thing for you. If not, that's all good, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I have three Mandalorians now. One might uh, go on the go somewhere else in the car. Put him on the dashboard. So yeah, super cool stuff. So yeah, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, let's pull the uh, junk back in here. There's a little. No, that's not even going to fit. Never mind. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.